huh? You guys want to fight me? It's a bad move, boys. <laughs> I'll slice them up, dice them up, feed them to me. Let me eat. Let me eat. Let me eat. <laughs> I died. Oh, good grief. <laughs> I've been roasting those guys every time that I've run down there to move stuff up to the up to the ledge there. And of course, once I do it on camera, I die. That's so great. Classic. Hey, I did it first try. Look at that. And now you want to fight again. Sure you do. Die, you fiend. I will not allow you to kill me twice in one day. Jerk idiot. Darn it. Can't believe that happened. I've been freaking roasting these guys. Getting this clay, because I've been doing a, a lot of clay runs to get materials for the new place. Back up, son. That's what you get. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Leave me alone next time, stupid idiots. Alright, what is going on everybody? My name is Notorious Crisco and this is episode 8 of Pax Day. If you enjoy this video, please take a moment and leave it a like. It really does help me out on YouTube and get more people to see these videos. If you have anything fun to talk about, tips or tricks, please leave them in the comment section below. And then, if you want to see any more Pax Day or just more videos by me in general, please go to my YouTube, Notorious Crisco. Hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon. That way you're updated anytime that I post. A new video but besides all that last we left off we had finally gotten our forge look at this bad boy our chime we've been working we have been working a lot um however in that brief uh time um all of us in immortal blue have agreed to move we're moving up there onto that ledge there or i'm sorry up there onto that ledge up there up there onto that cliff um if you look here everybody's over here now um here we have just picked out our spot it's actually pretty nice i, I was building right to the left of that guy but it was a little bit too far um out of the way for like they want to do like roads and stuff in the future so i've moved my area yeah, just a little bit, uh, just a little bit uh, off to the side of the road here. Um, Rastian has another new church. We'll show you that here in just a second. But so I've just been collecting tons of materials over the past few days. Um, just getting ready for the, the big move. Yeah, I'm, I'm sad to see this place go. It's actually turned out to be pretty cool, right? I mean, the dock is what we started with and then our house finally got constructed and now i mean the work area is i don't know i like the organic shape of it all honestly i think it's i think it's pretty cool you know but uh i don't want to be away from uh the clan and uh i think they have really good ideas for the future so let's run on over there and show you the new digs you know what i mean the new digs we've also been doing some leveling up Alchemy is up to 14 now. I've been doing a little bit of cooking, you know, a little bit of charcuterie, um, just because I want to make sure that I have my own uh, food supply when we're going out, you know, mining and running halfway across the world. Pretty much all the way across the world, actually, if we're really talking facts here. Just because I seem to be on at a different time than most of everybody else. Um, it's very rare that I'm on at the same time as some of these guys, so I don't want to be uh, burdening them during their day, making them come over to me and leave me stuff, I suppose. We've gotten up to uh, Vitality 3 when it comes to the potion making, which is pretty nice. It's been helping us out a lot, honestly, as well as we got to uh, the Health Potion 3. I'm just about to make the, uh, we can make tonics for healing and, and uh, stamina, but I think you need to get a certain flower that I just have not got yet. I think a, a bat flower is what I need to get, and then I can't remember what the other one is for the healing potion right off the top of my head, but it's something that I just haven't gotten just yet, so we'll wait on it. Oh yeah? You guys want to fight me? It's a bad move, boys. <laughs> I'll slice them up, dice them up, feed them to me. Let me eat. Let me eat. Let me eat. <laughs> I died. Oh, good grief. <laughs> I've been roasting those guys every time that I've run down there to move stuff up to the up to the ledge there. And of course, once I do it on camera, I die. That's so great. Classic. Let's see if the summon corpse will work. It hasn't been lately. No, 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 no. Don't, don't summon me home. Darn it. I'm gonna have to do this a million times to get out of here. Hey, I did it first try. Look at that. And now you wanna fight again. Sure you do. Die, you fiend. I will not allow you to kill me twice in one day. Jerk idiot. Darn it. I can't believe that happened. I've been freaking roasting these guys. Getting this clay, because I've been doing a, a lot of clay runs to get materials for the new place. Back up, son. That's what you get. You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. Leave me alone next time, stupid idiots. 
All right, back to what we were doing. Let's run back up to the uh, the ledge there. But yeah, my plan was to build on the edge and then uh, build a big long staircase down. But I think that's just sort of uh, not very realistic. So um, I'm still gonna probably do a staircase at the new place. It's a lot smaller, but would have been really nice to build it right here because it is kind of a run back up to the you know up this and then to the left but hey it is what it is man it is a good spot and we're a lot closer to storm's refuge um which was the main thing we kind of want to collaborate with them a lot more on like raiding parties and stuff like that which unfortunately we haven't been able to do any kind of raiding which is uh, just a, a huge shame like i said i'm just usually not on when everybody's doing the raiding stuff hopefully we'll be able to get one of those in the books here relatively soon i think that would be so awesome plus it'd probably be fun for you guys to watch too you know oh my gosh these wolves you know can't they take a hit so well, before i show you our new plot i'll show you Rastian's uh new church it's pretty slick i mean just look at this entrance dude it's pretty pretty awesome he said he's made it in uh, uh four days unfortunately that tree's right in the middle of it of course but not much you can do there check out these runes these made up runes which this one's actually kind of close to a real rune this one i think is close to a real i mean they're all pretty close to real runes however let's check out the inside here look at this place huh look at this place it's so nice it's so much better than his last one for sure i like this for like baptisms and stuff that's so cool dude oh my gosh that is so awesome these guys are nuts here's a little garden over here, you know, a little garden, right? I wonder whose house that is. Let's see. Grislands. Don't know who that is, honestly. Oops. Uh-oh. Am I gonna have a hard time getting back? Oh wait. But yeah, that's pretty much pretty much everything. He's got his little like workshop up there to the left. I think it looks pretty awesome, especially for only four days of work, right? It's not too shabby. Alright, so here's our plot of lands, huh? Nice flat rock to build on. Um, think, uh, think I might build like some sort of workshop right over in this area, maybe. I'm not sure. There's a lot of uh, a lot of potential here. Let's go up and check out top side. See now, this rock might become a little bit of a problem. I'm not sure yet. I think I might build the main house right here and then build out further this way. Maybe build like the workshop back here. I'm really not sure. I really want to be able to have a good view. Um, the last spot had a really good view over there, but like I said, it was just a little too far away from everybody else, and I just, I don't know. I wanted to be closer to everybody. Look at how much it, this place is developed, though. Look, like there's a small village occurring over there. Our little village here. Man, so much potential that could have happened. This is We're opening up for like newer players, basically, hoping that others can build inside of the riverbed there. Look at that tavern. Oh my goodness, it's so cool. But yeah, uh so that's that's what's happened in the uh the bye week here um i think i'm just gonna get to uh get to work see what i can't make happen on this here rock hopefully everything goes our way <laughs> let's do it baby all right so after uh hours and hours and hours of running back and forth from our spot to down here to get all of our goodies i've gotten rid of all the chests so now it is time to start breaking down all of our work benches and then run those back up too um man i'm i'm really bummed out that we're gonna get rid of this dock here just the more i think about it the more sad it makes me but you know it is what it is somebody else will come here and make a new dock and it'll be super sweet but um i am super excited to show you guys the house it's not fully finished just yet all right so uh, when you see it take it with a grain of salt if that's possible i need to work on the uh the top of the roof a little bit more it is just uh i don't know it's 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 not lining up how i want it to exactly i might even i might even have to break it down and make it even smaller the whole house um we'll see about it hopefully not hopefully not but let's get out of this goodies you're coming with me you're coming with me thank you please and check this out look what i found out you can do oh can i uh come on get up there why am i moving so slowly Go faster, guy. Hey, look at us. We're following with a cinematic camera. Isn't that so cool? Look at how cool this is. That's so awesome, dude. Uh, go up higher. Sorry. Up. Uh, uh. Don't mean to make you guys sick. Sorry. Dude, this is cool. I like this. We're going to start using this more often. Oh, what just happened there? Oh, is it following which way I'm looking personally? It totally is. Oh, that's nuts. That is so cool. Wow, look at how cool this is. Oh, boy. Will it sprint? Will you sprint? Doesn't look like you sprinting. That's all right. Still pretty sweet, right? Got a little cinematic camera now, huh? From up top. <laughs> cinematographer that's me professional make sure to tell all your friends all right so here's the new digs huh what do you think you see what i'm saying about the roof 
Here, let's get a cinematography, the cinematographer-ness camera going on here. So I feel like if I go up any higher with like the tile, here, let's get up on top of it with the, where the thatch is. I feel like if, if I go t like any higher with the, the tile, it'll be up too high. Um, I plan on putting a, uh, you know, a chimney on it. Um, maybe do something about these triangles here. If I can somehow, because there's like little small triangles. Maybe I can put a small triangle on either side and, uh, I don't know, a triangle on top and then have like a hole that goes through it or something. I, I don't know. It seems just kind of bland right there. Um, the sides don't look too, too bad besides, you know, the thatch up there. But, I mean, that is what it is. Um, I am going to have to uh, use our other, our other plots. I'm thinking we go a little to the, the right over there and a little bit backwards here. You know, I think that'd be a solid idea. What do you guys think? I don't know, because I'm thinking maybe back here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm thinking maybe back here we do all of our furni and furnaces and such, um, our, our smithy stuff. And then over here we do all of our other craftsman stuff. And then, you know, inside we'll have a couple of our regular, you know, like our, our regular craftsman table and stuff like that. I'm not sure just yet. I haven't fully figured it out. But look at all these chests, huh? That's everything that we have to our name. And there's like five inside as well. <laughs> just so you guys know, this took me about eight hours to do. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag Pax Life chose me. All right. You know I'm talking about, but let me get back to it and uh, we will, we will say goodbye to our old house together. All right. And we are back. I have finished the house and organizing all the stuff that we had to bring up. It took me um, about 11 hours to do all that, <laughs> but you know, I think it looks pretty sweet. Um, pretty classic, you know, just a wood layout. Just kidding. Mine's right over here. <laughs> it looks pretty good. I like the chimney being on it. You know, I had a, had problems with the roof quite a bit. Um, I couldn't figure out a very good look for it. Uh, it's just, I made it a little bit too big, but I didn't want to tear it all down after I just spent so much time anyways. So I just uh, threw on a chimney. So hopefully you sort of make it smaller or add more depth to it, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I think it looks good. It, and also I was having it to where it looked like uh, too much of a barn. <laughs> with this bit here it definitely looks a little bit too much like a barn but it's all right um anyways let's give you the tour got our water well out front nice nice little stairs we also got ourselves a mailbox and such and to our right we have our alchemy goodies our cooking goodies and then our jewelry making goodies right over there you know what i'm talking about um, upstairs, uh, we have another floor with the, uh, what is this? Oh, that's the jeweler table. Oh, I don't remember what the one on the on the ground is then. <laughs> but, so chimney, of course, which the chimney is kind of big, kind of big chimney. <laughs> but, you know, I'm making an excuse as to, uh, they, they weren't really good at building back in the Middle Ages, you know what I mean? So, we're just gonna, we're gonna blame it on that. Got ourselves a little dining table up here, a little balcony right a little balcony um here's just like a lookout towards our uh, our village here also just look at everybody's building man Rastian is building uh more to his forge over there it's got like some walkways and stuff uh, an armory area that he's gonna make but i don't know i think everybody's doing so splendid it looks so nice over here i'm excited to see what that is that big building over there i don't know what it is yet but it, oh, i'm excited and i don't know who this is but i think it's another type of like shop building maybe i did say that we were putting all of the guild buildings over on that side and then all of our personal houses on this side so i'm not sure what that's gonna be we'll find out but the the balcony wraps all the way around right because i want to make sure that we still had a nice view of back home where we were born you know what i mean right there at that river uh because we're giving that spot for the newbies since it's next to the woods a little better um it's a it's a perfect starting area and speaking of starting area just check out how many how many houses are over here man or plots i mean Look at that. We haven't been over in that area, that part of the lake just yet, but it looks pretty freaking filled, doesn't it? Looks pretty filled. I think it looks super cool. I'm excited to see what, what this server looks like in a month or even two months. Up here, we just got some excess storage. Um, all of our building materials are right here and then excess of it, you know, miscellaneous are over there. We got ourselves a nice little 
iron chandelier. Or actually, that's a wooden chandelier. I haven't figured anything to put onto this here wall shelf. I'm not sure what you can even put on it in the first place, but we're definitely going to do that. Got to see a little flower pot. You know, a little, little flowy, flowy pot. <laughs> Beautified home. But that's basically the house. I'm going to put like a, a table or something here. Maybe just a desk. Not sure, but I, I don't like how it's empty space, you know? Extra storage right down here. This one's mainly for the stuff that's here. In fact, what? Oh, charcuterie. That's what that is. This is mainly for, like, um, the alchemy, the cooking, and the charcuterie board. Then, outside, we got our leather station. I got our fletching station, our tailoring table and spin wheel, as well as four looms, which I haven't gotten the, uh the regular leather string just yet but when we do that we'll replace these with the bigger boys you know what i'm talking about the bigger boy looms then over here we got ourselves the armor the weapon smith the carpenter's bench and the blacksmith of course and i got them all iron chests because it looks pretty slick i like that and anything to do with metal i think we should put an iron chest then we got our forge over here with the big boy iron chest our chopping block our choppity chop block which i might put a chest here for excess wood Wood stuff but I feel like that would fill up way too fast so we'll see about it got ourselves two forges since we're big boys now we need to do all the silver making or I'm sorry the the steel making and that takes forever to do so more the more the merrier right we got our, our kilns our regular furnaces and then our charcoal kiln the one for hardwood and then our regular charcoal kilns which I'm gonna put on top right here another two charcoal kilns right I think that would be nice to have excess I really wish that I had more space for or the big boy charcoal kiln but we'll see we'll see what happens i might just like move out further this way or something so here here's all of our plots see so we got we got some excess space right over there so if i need to i'll just branch this over here in like a different walkway and then i'll just do specific for charcoal but uh yeah that is the house i think it looks pretty slick right what do you guys think i i don't know it took me forever to make Really, the, the whole process took me about a day in total, um, split over about two or three sessions. But man, it takes so long to run. They need to add horses so bad. Oh my gosh, add horses, devs, please, because, oh my goodness. Or at least give us more inventory space, like a, a, a bag that we can put like uh, extra inventory in. Because man, that took forever, just running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But you know, it's done. It's done. I think it looks pretty slick. I think it looks, it, it's definitely the coolest thing over here so far besides the uh the church you could take that to the bank but yeah what do you guys think you know i'd, I'd love to hear your guys uh either your critiques or your recommendations for everything here because i don't know for a simple house it looks slick but who knows we might want to add some stuff you know we might want to add some stuff like uh for the balcony maybe i bring up those posts and then I add another roof onto those, so the roof slides out this way. I, I did that, at the, or was going to do that at the last house, and then I just never got around to doing it. But I don't know, that could that could add some detail, but I do have the, the balcony bit right there, which I would just probably get rid of if that was the case, or make it from the backside going up. And it's really unnecessary. The reason why I had it there in the first place was because of, it was because I actually, instead of having that window there, I had it as an open hole and a walkout, but but it ended up not working as well as I wanted it to, so I just got rid of it. However, while we were while we were moving everything over, uh, we got ourselves some steel. Look at that! Look at that! Basically, a full chest of steel, huh? I'm pretty excited to see what we can't make here. Freaking Raystian over there has been non-stop making spears and stuff, so he, I think he's like almost level 41 by now. It's freaking nuts. So much for being the best blacksmith there ever was. <laughs> so much for it i also have these uh grain mill plans and i really wanted to put them out here um but i can't seem to figure it out like if you look at if you look at the crafting doohickeys i thought it would be under cooking maybe or something else i don't know what it could possibly be under but i cannot find this thing for the life of me like if anything it would be up here inside of the builder right so i don't know what the deal is i also got these grain mill plans gifted to me so i didn't make them so i tried i tried to make them i had like uh about 20 attempts and i didn't make it once it might it might have been more like 15 or 13 i can't remember exactly 13 attempts didn't make it one time isn't that wild it's because it's, it's very hard right now like good grief good grief and I, i'm level 21 level 21 what's what's this supposed to be baking whoa baking what how do you unlock baking hold on time for a google search 
Oh, furnace plans and baking tools. Oh, well, we got tons of this stuff. Oh, real linen cloth, huh? Darn, okay. Jeez, man, we're at level 16 only of blacksmithing. Darn, 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 darn. Okay, so, so we really need to make that linen cloth, like, ASAP, don't we? And then we're going to make... Oh, no, you gotta have the... You gotta have the big boy loom, don't you? So we really need leather string first. Jeezer! <laughs> I'm running back and forth here. All right, we're starting with 16 of these large animal hides, and we're gonna get nine. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. We're not doing great on the luck right now. It's not looking too good, so we might actually have to go and hunt stags and stuff. You can do it. Attaboy. Nice job, Crisco. All right, you know what? We're gonna stop, because I feel like I'm just wasting. Get up there, please, for the last one. Last one. You can do it. Darn it. Yeah, because it... it this has been over the course of like a week or two of getting these guys. So I think instead, what I'm what am I gonna do? We'll make half of this 90 as rough leather string. We're starting at level nine right now, so let's see how that takes us. And of course I failed the first one, Jabroni. Dang, you gotta actually use generic leather for these guys. No kidding. How about these gloaks. Ah, uh, we're not doing too good on the gloaks there, but dang. There's nothing without any generic leather. Oh man. We're gonna have to go hunting. Well, let's try doing six of these, I suppose. And then, uh, yeah, it looks like we gotta go hunting. <laughs> Sweet. Well, hey, you know what? We made five out of six. That's not too bad, right? That's not too bad. That's all right. We wanted to go and uh, thin out the herds anyways. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Bunch of jabronis. Ah, it feels good to be actually playing again. <laughs> I'm not just running stuff back and forward. Oh my goodness. That was a bit much for my brain to handle. No kidding. And now we get to look for the flax and kill all the animals. <laughs> what a bunch of idiots. Also, as you can see, I swapped to the uh, to the spear. I mean, I mean our boy Raystian was making a bunch of them and he was just throwing them away, you know? So, <laughs> waste not, want not. That's what my grandmama always said. And yeah, I don't know. It's nice because you get, you get a lot more range with this. For sure. And I feel like it does more damage. I could be wrong about that, though. I'm really not sure. Yeah, see? Die, wolf jerk. I am super glad there's so much flax on this hill that we're on now, though. That's super nice. There's tons. I probably almost have a, uh, a full inventory by now. I've only walked down the hill once. But we're gonna check in just a sec. Let's see. Let's see what I'm at. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, I forgot I had a bunch of stuff in the inventory. That's all right. We only need a little bit of this to make some rough linen. I might want to make a staircase on this side. Because I, I always come from right, right around there. So it might be a good idea. Uh, the only problem with that. Oh, right here. I could go right here. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Oh, of course, it's right in the middle of these two. Here, here, here's what we'll do. We'll, we'll do, some, we'll do some squiddy, squid stuff. Actually, first, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and spin this stuff. We need rough linen. We don't have any more space, dummy. Come on, hurry up. Act like you know how to play the game, buddy. All right, let's make our first, uh, our first bow. Actually, I think it, it is. I don't think I've done any bows. I've just made a bunch of arrows. Look at that. We already completed it. Perfect. <laughs> Well, let's just make some more, I suppose. I don't know. I made all this stuff for it, so we might as well. And we got way too much sinew to keep on us. I really like that you gotta get kind of good at most things in order to be, like, the best at one thing. Like, for, you know, weapon smithing and, and armor smithing, you gotta be good at blacksmithing. You gotta be good at leather making. You gotta be good at tailoring. You know, I think that's really cool. But uh, it, it does make it a lot harder on my life. <laughs> Makes it pretty uh, pretty tedious to make a whole bunch of stuff. But you know what? I I think it's I think it's pretty cool. Well, shoot. Let's go and uh, get some impure iron as well as some uh, dead uh, animal carcasses and the fur thereof, the hides therein. So, I just came to the realization that, uh, <laughs> we have a blacksmith shop. So why don't I just use this forge until I no longer need this forge and we can make our own. Duh. Oh, yeah. Get all that. Get all the goods. Why didn't I think of this earlier? Good grief, dude. Come on, Chris. You're better than that. When I failed that one? Is that right? Oopsies. Oh, I'm failing him. Come on. Do the thing, you. Yes. This is genius. Yes. Okay, let's drop that for a quick second. Yeah, we'll just run this up until the steel anvil head is easy to make. Oh, my goodness. Thank goodness, because, man, running back and forth trying to get uh, all that raw iron, not a good time. To be honest, it takes so long just to get over there and then back. Um, plus, we need to start making some steel um, axes and pickaxes on our own. That'll make life so much easier. Oh my goodness, so much easier. Drats, I brought too much steel over there. I had to drop some, so I gotta hurry up before uh, 
Racy and gets back on <laughs> before I get caught. Shh, don't tell nobody. Just kidding. It's a guild workshop, so it's for everybody. But yeah, I can't believe I didn't think of that until just right now. That's crazy. Gotta get the crafting unlocked. Perfect. Perfect. Let's do a steel pommel as well. Get the crafting unlocked. Wonderful. That's what I like to see. We will wait on this stuff down here, though, I think. Let's see what a, uh, a full, almost a full decorated chest worth of steel gets us up to. As you can see, we're level 19 right now. If we can get up to like level 25 and then make that steel anvil head, I think we should be saucy. But yeah, I've just been going to the uh, the PvP area, Lioness, at the uh, in the middle of the night to uh, hopefully avoid being attacked. I've only had to deal with one person so far, and they were they were. Uh, it was when I was with Raystian. In fact, that was during the day though. So uh, ever since then, I have not had to deal with anybody. Man, come on, do the thing. And we gotta get up to up the scuff when it comes to. Uh, fighting people. I need to start hitting some dungeons and uh, dragons. No, I'm just kidding. Dungeons and wolves spins and stuff so we can start getting some magic. Magic, because I do not have a lick of magic and uh, it seems like every all, all the bad guys that go out to PvP servers have magic. Um, they'll hit you with a spell and then you can't go anywhere and then you're, you're pretty much done for at that point. So Ah, dang it. Not doing so hot. But I think if we can just start fighting off some of these dungeons, and apparently it's the named NPCs that drop the, uh, the, what are they called? The collar stones? Kind of like the ones that we get from the wolves and stuff. Hit some infested boars and bears and whatnot. So, ah, that's why I switched to the hand spear, because I think it's going to do a lot more damage and you have more range to work with. Um, I, I, I think. I could be wrong. I haven't done any testing on whether or not you get more damage from the spears or from the, the sword and shield uh i'm just basing it off of what people have told me so far all right so after all that metal working at race forge this is what we have created here not too bad i think i had about 541 steel ingots uh this is going to be really nice to prep us for our our weapon smithing and armor smithing which we're still going to have to get a whole lot more steel so i'll do that tonight for sure but we got from level 19 to 24 so that's not too bad out of uh 541 i think that was uh probably two or three three goes to the pvp realm um almost got to 25 that would have been really nice but five levels in uh in not too long at all really uh thank goodness i thought about using that forge my gosh that was going to be such a handful going and getting all the raw iron to come back here and start trying to prep try to get that steel anvil head so nice that we got we got good friends that are uh, really good at this game and play so much race says that he's already over 400 hours on this game my goodness could you imagine that'd be so much much fun but i do need to go and start working on our weapon smith and i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to i think what they've told me to do is to do this novice hand spear as much as possible and then i'm going to go for the the steel chopping axe because that's the best way to go about filling these bad boys up i feel like it takes so long with the uh, the wrought iron axe after i've used uh, some of the steel axe it just uh, there's just no going back after that you know so <laughs> we're gonna get to to work and uh what are we at right now level 20 so i think hopefully we should get back up to level 24 here too if not 25 with all the stuff that we've made and if not then i'm just gonna go and get more fellers <laughs> but while i work on all that stuff i think i am gonna call it here folks thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today i really do appreciate you if you enjoyed this video please take a moment and leave it a like it really does help me out on youtube and get more people to see these videos if you have anything fun to talk about tips or tricks please leave them in the comment section below and then if you want to see any more pack stay or just more videos by me in general please go to my youtube notorious crisco hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon that way you're updated anytime that i post a new video but besides all that thank you guys so 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 much i truly do appreciate you i truly love you god bless you and bye